Hello everybody, my name is Champinator9000 and welcome to part 6 of the New York Mets Franchise Mode series here in MLB The Show. And I said this episode would be a recap of what has happened thus far. As you can see, we are actually now in June. We are actually going to end up playing the Rangers. We are still seven games back from the Nationals, who are 39 and 18. We are 32 and 25. Team st statistics. Um, players who haven't. I mean, Joey Votto. He. Where can I see? Where can I see? He in. He's only played 56 games with the this year yes no he played 56 games this year and I don't get that okay anyways team rankings and batting average we are 11th uh, mostly because Joey B Votto who is hitting 350 350 at bats, we are way down here at 21st. Runs, we are here. Tied for ninth. Um, hits, 13th. Doubles, 29th. Not hitting so many doubles. Triples. Got Billy Hamilton. He has to be helping a bit. 24th. This because one, two, three, four, five teams are tied for 19. Home runs. We are second just behind the Cleveland Indians. RBIs, oh, well, you know, not doing bad. 10th. Stolen bases, 14th. Caught stealing. We are 28th. We don't steal a lot. Jose Reyes caught stealing once. Billy Hamilton caught stealing eighth, eight times. Michael Conforto never caught stealing. Don't know if he's ever stolen. That doesn't really matter. League leaders. Joey Votto is leading the league in batting average. And in third, Michael Conforto. And down here in 13th, Curtis Granderson. In hits, Joey Votto is leading the league. And Michael Conforto is tied for seventh. And in at bats. Joey Votto's 10th, Evan Longoria is 11th in doubles. We have no one in the top 13. Triples? Nope. Home runs. Joey Votto, 5th. Michael Conforto, 7th. RBIs, Joey Votto, 3 behind the leading Corey Seager. Look at the, look at the awards. Awards. Corey Seager barely beating out Joey Votto by only by two home runs and three RBIs cuz Joey has a better average um that's mostly it we can look at the lineups Billy Hamilton's batting 275 two home runs 12 RBIs Neil Walker nine home runs 236 Joey Votto, we just saw his stats, 350, 15 home runs, 40 RBIs. Michael Conforto, 341, 14 home runs, 28 RBIs. Evan Longoria, 264, 10 home runs, 25 RBIs. Um, let's dribble Cabrera, batting 267, 11 home runs, 25 RBIs. He's having a pretty good year. Curtis Granderson, 
200, two, he's batting 299, 6 home runs, 19 RBIs. He's having a good year. Uh, Darnell, not having a bad year. 268, 6 home runs, 20 RBIs. And Wilmer Flores, two, 284, 2 home runs, 9 RBIs. On the bench, yikes, Jose Reyes, 177, 5 home runs, 10 RBIs. Not having a good year. Backup catcher, Rene Rivera. Yep, that's... Anyways, Lance McCullers is going to take on Cole Hamels in Arlington, Texas. At Globe Life Park. Of course, last time we saw Lance McCullers, he was so close to throwing a no-hitter. Billy Hamilton's again getting the day off. Ooh, lefties have been tough on long guards this year. Alright, yeah, so Billy Hamilton, take that back. You know what, Rene v Rivera can start. Um... Having a pretty solid year. Yeah, as you saw, second in home runs, Joey Votto with 15. Michael Conforto with 14. And as Dribble Cabrera with 11. That trade with Cincinnati which may have been the smartest thing the Mets have ever done. Uh, let me turn it up a bit. Cole Hamels in 11 starts with 1 and 7, 4.95 ERA, 63.2 innings, giving up 71 hits, a 1.49 whip, 24 walks, 55 strikeouts. Not having a great year. Again, I wrote to the show character, it was on dynamic. Alright, and first pitch of the game, low fastball, and that is how this game will get underway. Now 2-0, and another low fastball by Cole Hamels. 2-0, count, Billy Hamilton watches an outside cutter. 3-0, and Billy Hamilton, not a guy you want to walk. He swings late at a fastball for strike one. Uh, Mets, oh, circle change, catches the corner, that was a good pitch. Mets are trying to dig their way back in the division, the Nationals just won't lose, Hamilton rips one down the line, just goes foul, bounces off the bat boy's chest. Alright, seventh pitch of the at bat to Hamilton, grounds it to third, Beltre throws over to first. Uh, who caught that? Oh my god. I think I said Mike Napoli caught that. Neil Walker steps in. Oh, wow. He swings at the first pitch. That would be popped up to right and caught for out number two. Now the man of the hour, Joey Votto. I almost said Johnny Damon. Joey Votto steps in. Alright. Low. 2-12-6, I think. No. I don't know what it was. Low for ball one. And Joey! Oh, I thought he got a base hit up the middle. Instead, the shortstop picked it. Throws on to Napoli at first for out number three. So the Mets go down 1-3. and three. Now Lance McCullers steps in. In 2017, he has 12 starts. His record is 5-2. and two, A 3.26 ERA. 69 innings pitched. Only giving up 59 hits. A 120 whip. He has had a pretty good year. And one pitch, one out. Elvis Landrieu. Grounds out to as Drubal Cabrera, Carlos Gomez now steps in. 
Texas, of course, they're having a decent year. They're pretty high up in the team standings. They are in a tough division. They're in the AL West with the Astros and teams like that. And now, pop up to Darno. McCuller, or sorry, nope. Travis Darno catches that one for out number two. Nomar Mazzara is up. Ground ball, Cabrera, good play, five pitches, three outs, and McCullers gets out of the inning quickly. Evan Longoria steps in. The Mets gave up a lot for him, and he has not been performing yet. The Mets could easily use him as um, a piece of a trade closer to the trade deadline because if he keeps this up which he hit that ball pretty well though the pitcher able to help out his team by blocking it with his foot um if he keeps that up the Mets might not want to trade him Michael Conforto don't know why I'm trying that. It has one of the highest batting averages in the league. But that is quick 0-2 count. Conforto. Oh, uh, I thought it might go against the shift. But the left fielder and shortstop are both there and catch it for out number two. As Dribble Cabrera steps in. Having a Pretty good season. Was not expecting too much for him, from him, but getting a lot more than what most teams got from him. Oh my God! Blooped, oh, blooped in, right behind the pitcher. Though the second baseman's able to throw onto Napoli at first. Yes. Joey Gallo is DH. Here we go. Lance McCullers, 1-1 one, one count, strike two. See right three, McCullers got him. Adrian Beltre steps in. Steve Reich. Now, this pitch has not been thrown much today, but this is like McCullers' untouchable pitch. His changeup, beautiful, called strike. And that ball's popped up. Beltre probably going to be retired. Darno still looking up to find it. Don't know if he knows that the ball has landed. And it lands foul. What? McCullers gets him swinging, strike three. Jared Hoying steps in. So, two outs in the inning. That was only McCullers' 16th pitch of the game. Had a very short first inning. Having a pretty good second. Strike three got him. 18 pitches. McCuller gets through two innings. All right. Curtis Granderson batting 299 on the year. Hitting is not bad for the Mets. Hitting is good. And Granderson actually is one home run away from 300 on his career. But probably not going to happen here in this at bat. Alright, though he is fighting back. Now 1 2. Cole Hamels threw a lot of pitches to the first batter, Billy Hamilton. Um. 
he's not having as good as a as I mean he has not thrown very many pitches either. That was only his twenty third of the game. So this is a pitching duel so far. No hits given up by either man. Though that could be it. Granderson, congratulations, Curtis Granderson, three hundredth of his career. Touch them all, Curtis. Touch them all. Wow. Curtis Granderson delivers the first hit of the ball game. A solo shot for his 300th career. Look at him one more time. 370 feet. Well, there it goes. He's going to want that ball back. What lucky fan caught that? I could not tell. Curtis Granderson, congratulations. Wow. That's a lot more than many people can say that I have hit 300 career Major League home runs. Now Wilmer Flores up, and Wilmer Flores delivers the second hit of the game. For a solo home run, Wilmer Flores and Curtis Granderson go back to back. Well, and Wilmer Flores, why not? You can touch them all too. That one went 4.13, a whopping 43 feet further than Curtis Granderson's. Now... Rio Rivera, the, the backup catcher, steps in. And pop up. And it gets down. So, in Texas Division, they are 11 games back. They are 27 and 30. The next team in the division is the Astros, who is 10 games above 500. And the Los Angeles Angels, 40 and 21. I believe that is the best record in the majors. And I, did we win last time? I think we may have lost the last episode to the Angels. No. Yes. Maybe. I don't know. We played the Angels last episode. I don't know if we won or lost. Did he swing? No, he did not, says the first base umpire. Billy Hamilton making Cole Hamill's work. A chopper beautifully placed and with his speed, he is safe. An infield single for Billy Hamilton. Now Neil Walker steps in. The first pitch to Walker is probably a pitch out. Nope. Ground ball driven down the first baseline. Hamilton off the wild throw advances to home, and that was a horrible play by the Rangers. Yikes. No wonder they are three games below 500. One out. In the first inning, Joey Votto steps in with a runner on third. That ball is ripped. This is he hit he hit it to the deepest part of the park, but it was a sack fly. And there you go. Evan Longoria steps in a four-run top of the third inning for the Mets. And he hits it to the deepest part of the park as well. Oh, but it gets over the center fielder's head. Longoria shugging around second. That was obviously a mistake. Now he's going back. And he is caught. But a four run. Third inning. Four. The Mets as they lead it 4 nothing. As we head to the bottom of the third. Hike! Lance McCullers has struck out 
a lot of batters so far in this game. One, two, count. And Napoli goes down swinging. Jonathan Lucroy, the former Brewers. Brewer, he was on the Brewers for a long time. Oh, wow. Made good contact with that one, though it went foul. Luke Roy watches an outside changeup. Next pitch from McCuller, strike three, got him swinging. Oh, called ball. The umpires have not been friendly to Lance McCullers lately. Though, he's not letting it bother him. And... He will not be taking a no-hitter into the 8th inning this time. Two out, single... For the Rangers... Elvis Andrews, though, steps in. Ball one. Of course, the dual shock battery's blow. Strike one. He, he went on the perfect pitch. And he steals third. On the changeup from McCullers. And Lance McCullers strikes at the side. So yes, he gave up a run. Two stolen bases. But he is still striking out everyone. Oh wow, that was a... Sweeping curve. And he... Got under that one. Michael Conforto pops up. Mike Napoli under it. As Drupal Cabrera, will he start off another rally? No, he won't. You can see, though, after the last inning, why the Rangers are doing as bad as they are. Granderson steps in. Fouled off. Oh, one count to Curtis Granderson. He was the one who started off the rally last time. Maybe he'll hit his four or his three hundred and fiftieth home run in this game. All he needs is fifty more. Foul ball. And you know, against the Rangers, I wouldn't doubt that Granderson couldn't hit 50. Oh, well, broken bat, foul ball. Catcher didn't even bother going for it. Here comes the fifth pitch of the at-bat. And ground ball, Curtis Granderson gets it through. Curtis Granderson's having a pretty good day. Wilmer Flores steps in. Of course, he went back-to-back -back with Curtis. And now they went back-to-back -back again. Back-to-back -back singles. Two-out rally. Two-out rally. Oh, gosh. It's the backup catcher, Rio Rivera. Rene Rivera, sorry. I don't know why I was calling him R Rio. Rio Rivera. Rene Rivera. Go. 1 0, and now it's a 1 1 count. Usually 44 
The number 44, whoever wears that, is a power hitter. In this case, it's Rio Rivera. Rene Rivera. Oh my god. Alright, Cole Hamill's definitely having to work here. His 47th pitch of the game is just lofted out to center and caught for out number three. Carlos Gomez. Mm, ball one. Uh, change up in there. Strike one. You know, Lance McCullers is definitely going to be signed for another year here in New York. Don't care how much he wants. He is the best pitcher for us. Strike three. Another strikeout. I He could possibly break the most strikeouts in a game if he keeps this up. Alright. Outside fastball. 1-1. One, one. Next pitch. Again. Ball. 2-1 count. Outside again. 3-1. Strike! Is he going to be able to get out of it? Ew! Foul ball! McCullers, of course, doesn't have an outstanding pitching pitch count. He has about the same as Cole Hamels. Evan Longoria there to catch that. He, it's not a bad pitch count. Strike. Here we go. Second pitch of the at bat. McCuller strike two. Next pitch. Stay right three. And Lance McCuller sends him down. One, two, three. Cole Hamels now. Making his way back to the mound here in the fifth inning. This could also be the Rangers' problem. They're leaving their starters in far too long. Elvis Andrews, phenomenal play. As he gave up four runs earlier in the game. And the Mets are coming out maybe to challenge this one. But he gave up four runs earlier in the game. They're leaving him in. Andres made a great play. Was Hamilton actually safe? Not even close. Don't even know what manager saw on that one. He was out by a mile. Now one out in the inning. Neil Walker up. Hamill's 50th pitch of the game is a circle change. Fouled off. That one grounded. Elvis Andrews again throws out the base runner. Joey Votto, he hit a sack fly in his first at bat. What's he going to do here? No, he got out and then he hit a sack fly. No, he, got, he hit a sack fly. 1 0 count. Next pitch to Votto. Cranked. Deep center again. Deep is part of the park. He needs to start pulling the ball or pushing the ball. But he cannot just keep cranking the ball to dead center field. Yeah. No. Why did it say I could climb the wall and rob that one? Lance McCullers gets his change up in there for strike two. Oh, two count to Adrian Beltre. Okay, Beltre almost went for that one. Did not. One, two count. Strike three got him. 
That is not his ninth strikeout of the game here in the bottom of the fifth. I will do the math if I will do the math math after how many strikeouts he has at the end of this inning. Nine is already an impressive amount. Sliding stop by Walker. Throws on to first. Got him. Mike Napoli, he went down on strikes earlier in the game. Nothing worse than striking out more than once. Striking out is bad enough. You strike out more than once in a game. It's horrible. Horrible feeling. Curveball fouled off. One, two count. McCullers. Oh, changeup really gets away. Next pitch. Strike three. Ten. That is ten. We are on the sixth. That would be three. And then seventh. Six. Eighth. Nineteen. And in the ten. Okay. He has to strike out almost every batter from here on out as if he if as if he did right now struck out every batter for the rest of the game he would finish with 22 strikeouts that is pretty impressive next pitch to Longoria fouled off just barely three straight foul balls this pitcher has only thrown three pitches. Make that four. And the final one is a phenomenal play by the third baseman. Out number one. Look at this again. You can see he didn't travel very far. Only 12 feet. But then look at that throw. 71 miles per hour. Mid-air. Great play. Michael Conforto steps in. The pitch to Conforto, ball one. Conforto is over so far. Ground ball in the shift. And almost beat it out. Not quite. That is, I believe, Delino De Shields playing second. I don't know, it's Drupal Cabrera steps in and he will be just stepping right out as that ball is popped up to left field and caught for out number three. Did my voice just change? I don't know. Jonathan Lucroy steps in. Fouled off, strike one. Here we go. Next pitch. Strike two. Next. Oh, fouled off. Don't know if Lance McCullers has done the math and knows that if he gets more strikeouts, oh no. He can, if he wants to break the record, he has to strike every single person out now from now on ball one no third baseman Longoria unable to field the ball Longoria it's not counted as an error Probably would have beat it out anyway, seeing as he is pretty fast. Strike one, he he did go around, I guess. Fouled off. Strike two. McCullers. Oh, my God. And he's safe. What is with all these infield hits? 
What is with all the infield hits? Oh my god! Lance McCullers struggling here in the sixth. Strike one. Strike two. Strike three. Carlos Gomez goes down on strikes. Nomar Mazzara, the four hitter here. He is 0 for 2, way outside changeup. He is 0 for 2 on the day. He's not having a bad year. Strike three got him. Horrible swing from Mr. Nomar Mazzara. 12 strikeouts on the day. Curtis Granderson steps in now. It is pouring here in Arlington. This game has to be getting close to a rain delay. I mean, it is seriously coming down. Yikes. Now Granderson... Oh, hits it straight into the shift. <clears throat> and, and thrown out at first. Wilmer Flores. He drove one line drive out of the park earlier in the game. But he had been copying Granderson, so technically he should get out, which he did. Hit it pretty well, though. He is just copying what Curtis Granderson does today. Now... Rene Rivera, he's 0 for 2 today. Change it! Check swing, ball one. Why did he say ball one? Next pitch. Outside change up, ball two. Top of the seventh. If they do have to cancel the game because of rain, which I don't know if they do in the show, then it is after. I think it would count as a win for the Mets. Oh, called ball. The umpire it has an odd strike zone. Horrible swing by DH Joey Gallo there. I just, I just realized that there's a DH that... There is a DH for the Mets. And that one gets through. Billy Hamilton throws it on. Two. That looks like Flores there at second. Adrian Beltre now up. They do not have to worry about Gallo stealing because he is slow as dirt. Fouled off. Going for 13. McCullers. That one's fouled off too. Beltre looking like he's trying to kill his teammates there. That was stung. Strike three. McCullers got Beltre. That was actually a hat trick there for Beltre. That, he has struck out all three plate appearances so far. Now, do not know who this is, but they just strike out. Hoying struck out 14 on the day for McCullers. Mike Napoli has had a pretty bad day so far, like most of his teammates. No one has been able to crack the code of Lance McCullers. Just firing him in. First almost threw a no-hitter. Does that mean he's going to almost break the record? Let's hope not. Let's hope that means he is going to easily break the record. So it's a 3-1 count. Foul ball. Full count. And is he going to strike out the side? Why? No, he is not. Ball four. McCullers. He's been throwing tons of pitches lately. 
that here comes his 100th of the game. And he wants it back, probably taken out of the park. It is now a 3 2 4 ball game. Though Mets aren't budging. Now they're gonna budge. Neil Ramirez is gonna start warming up in the bullpen. Ball, 2-0 count, 3-0 count now. Lance McCullers, okay, that is a strike. He is now going to try and battle back from the 3-1 count. It is, no, oh I got. Is he still going to throw him out? No, he is not. Is that the Shields? I never know. I really never know. Elvis Andrews steps in. Very poor game so far. And Darno. Darno does not have a good arm. Fouled off. McCullers trying to get out of this inning. Fouled off. I thought that was strike three. Outside. Lance McCullers 111th pitch of the game popped up in the outfield. Billy Hamilton catches it. I did not think that the Rangers had any chance of coming back, but after a three run bomb, it is now a four to three game. Though Billy Hamilton looking to get a rally started here for the New York Mets. Fells off the first one for strike one. Grounds that one to Mike Napoli at, four, at first for strike for out number one. Now Neil Walker steps in. He is one for three on the day. Looking to improve that. Go 500. First pitch to Walker. Foul tipped. Curveball into the glove of the catcher. This, I believe, is the second pitcher to take the mound for the day for the Rangers. Walker crushes that one, caught on the warning track. And he's retired for out number two. Now Joey Votto steps in. I don't think that the right fielder... Oh, I thought that was a fair ball. I do not think that the Rangers' right fielder is James Bond like it is for the Angels. Still don't get why James Bond was playing for the Angels in the last episode. You know, I know some crazy stuff happens on Broadway. But, you know what? Whatever. Carlos Gomez steps in. Lance McCullers is getting tired. He's got, the Rangers are going to try and have him get through the eighth. As he is, he has a lot of strikeouts on the day, but he is also has 113 pitches. I think yes. If one more runner gets on base, McCullers is going to be taken out of the game. Though he does strike out Carlos Gomez there. Now, no more Mazzara. No, wait, that was Adrian. I don't know who that was. I know no more Mazzara is the fourth batter of the game. Is the fourth batter in their lineup. Nope, no more Mazzara is the third. Okay, whatever. And he is losing control. Looks like that is going to be all for Lance McCullers. Neil Ramirez comes in uh, in 25 games. Has a 2.27 ERA. Doing amazing. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, wow. That is why third base is the hot corner. 
Evan Longoria, amazing snag, out number two. Now Joey Gallo, the DH, steps in. He is the fourth batter for the Rangers. And he is also the next strikeout victim. Now, Mets looking to get some insurance runs here in the top of the ninth inning. First pitch to Longoria. Strike one. Can't stop it. Next pitch to Longoria. He fouls that one off. So now 0 2 count here. 4 3 ball game, top nine. Longoria, he nowhere near went. That was clearly no swing. So, now it's a 1-2 count. Here comes the pitch. Strike three. Longoria goes down. Strike out number one. Out number one. Michael Conforto. Cranks it. It's going, but dies out. It's hard to hit a bomb here in the rain. Granderson and Flores got there before the got theirs before the rain started. As this, as it is pouring, and the rain's pounding on the ball, sending it further and further to the ground. Cabrera flies out. Out number three. Neil Ramirez, Adrian Beltre steps in. Neil Ramirez is going to try and finish off the ball game here. Strike two. And, oh, here we go. Popped up. Granderson running over towards it. Out number one. The Mets are two outs away from a victory here in Arlington. Oh my god. 3-0. And called strike three. Neil Ramirez has to be completely just furious with the umpire the ball just gets by the diving glove of Neil Walker runners on the corners with only one away Jonathan Lucroy steps in wild pitch wild pitch and the Rangers tie it here in the ninth oh my god a wild pitch. Oh, not good. Fouled off. One, two count. Blown save opportunity, I think, for Neil Ramirez. Two, two count. Looking to get out of the out of here. Strike three. Luke Croy strikes out. Now Delino De Shields fouled off. Strike one. Yikes. And the feeling of you know that you just messed up the game for your team. But you have to keep going and perhaps ruin it some more and blow it completely. Has to be killing. Neil Ramirez. Strike three. Got the shields, and we are heading to the 10th. Matt Bush comes in. Hanser Alberto comes in at first base. And Kelvin Herrera. And I believe Jeremy's Familia warming up in the bullpen. Curtis Granderson up to bat. He homered earlier in the game for his 300th 
career RBI. A home run, sorry. Now he's just trying to get on base. If he gets on base and Wilmer Flores will get on base. Because he has copied him so far today. And he flies out. Center fielder there. Out number one. That is Carlos Gomez. Wilmer Flores. If he flies out, I swear, he is purposely copying Curtis Granderson. Curveball fouled off. Well, that's not copying him. The first two pitches to Granderson were balls. Next pitch to Flores. Not a fly up. A foul pop up. Out number two. And substitute Juan Lagares comes in. <coughs> Here you go, top of the 10th inning, two outs. Juan Lagares, the pitch. I hate this umpire. There should be an argue with the ump button. That's a way to get ejected too. And Lagares grounds out. Kelvin Herrera comes in the game, making his, who's catching? No, Juan Lagares is not a catcher. Travis Darno, come into the game, please. Oh, that's a good way to start off the inning for the Rangers. Lead off Double good throw again by Michael Conforto. Scoring position. Not worried. Thought that'd be a pop-up. Oh! Foul ball! That was a foul ball. Oh my god. One out. Bunt defense, Nomar Mazzara up. Depending where it's hit, a fly ball could end it. Ground out could possibly end it. This game is crazy. And you don't need either of those when you got Nomar Mazzara cranking one out of the park. For a walk-off, two-run, home run, Rangers win it in 10, 6-4. And that will end the ball game. Your player of the game, no doubt, Nomar Mazzara. That will end the ball game, and I am completely just exiting. Gonna sim up to the National Series, and we are going to play that. I hope you enjoyed, and I will talk to you all next time.